Paris. They strung an unlikely series of results together over the course of this month, and they're leaving with some silverware. Yeah, and congratulations to Portugal. They showed really the benefits of great goalkeeping and great defending. But frankly, I think this has been the worst tournament since Italia 90. And maybe that was the final we deserve. You know, we've had 51 games. Probably only five of them have really got you out of your seat here. And maybe that was the final that we deserved. Because I think Portugal have won that. And I say, you know, they're overdue a trophy. Well done. They did it. France weren't good enough. But Taylor, I don't know what you think. It... Somehow this was an unsatisfactory tournament. I'm not sure why. 24 teams. And I think that was a big part of it. When you look at the group stage, four teams advanced out of the group, only scoring two goals. But that's not Portugal's fault. And as I'm listening to the studio talk about this, here's my question to everyone back in Paris is this. If this is Italy, are we talking about the defensive fortitude of the Italians? They did exactly what they've done. Or this is what Portugal did. And they did exactly what your wife had laid out. They would have been finished third. Taylor, they would have been knocked out in the group stage under the old format. Under 16. Isn't that teams? a bit embarrassing for UEFA? Uh, I, I don't know. UEFA will look at it with the piles of cash that they've made this tournament with more games. They'll tweak it here and there. But I think, I, I think credit to Portugal. They did what they did, what, what they wanted to do, played to their strengths. I, I just think we should pay a little bit more respect to Portugal winning it. Because, by the way, they won it. They didn't make the rules. Yeah, I respect them. I respect them winning it. But I, I don't think it was a great tournament. Taylor, if Italy would have won it, we would have said it was. That was.